Hello. Hello. Hi, Courtney. Yes. Nice to see you again. I'm Jamie, nurse practitioner and student here at Youngstown State University. How are you doing today? Good. Good. So today we're going to do an abdominal and vascular assessment, if that's okay with you. Yep. Awesome. No concerns today about your belly or any anything on your limbs? Nope. Okay, wonderful. I'm going to start by having you lay down. I'm going to have you expose your stomach here for me. Wonderful. Okay, so first I'm going to start out with a visual inspection, okay? So I can see that you have a flat contour of your stomach. It looks like you have appropriate um, color for your ethnicity. I see a little bit of striae, which is consistent with having a previous pregnancy. Um, otherwise, I don't see any obvious lump lesions or masses. So I'm going to scooch down to the foot of your bed here. I'm just looking above your umbilicus here little bit to your left and I don't see any aortic pulsations here so I don't have concerns that you have an aortic aneurysm. I'm also just going to look at your belly button. It is pierced in the upper part of your navel. Um, it is inverted. Take a deep breath for me. Perfect. I don't see any kind of protrusions there. I do not have any concerns for a hernia today, okay? Um, I'm gonna have you do a head raise tilt for me. So kind of like you're doing a crunch, perfect. I'm looking for muscle separation there, any kind of hernia or masses, and I don't see any of that either. So we're gonna move on to auscultation. So I'm gonna listen with the diaphragm first. I'm gonna start out in your right lower quadrant. I'm gonna do that because that's where your GI motility is the quickest. Very active. Moving up to your right upper quadrant. Again, very active across the transverse colon to the large intestine, to the left upper quadrant. Good, and then moving down to the lower left quadrant where your descending colon is. and there is no abnormal sounds heard there. So next I'm going to auscultate with the bell of the stethoscope. I'm gonna to listen to your aorta. So I'm gonna go above your umbilicus a little to the left. I hear no groovies. I'm gonna to move to your renal artery. So I'm gonna go about three centimeters up and then laterally. And on the other side. I hear no bruise. I'm going to listen to your iliac artery, so about three centimeters below, laterally. Don't hear any bruise there. And then on the other side. So I'm also going to listen to your femoral artery. I'm just going to feel me palpate down here. I'm hearing no bruise. Palpate, so I have my landmarks here. Perfect. And I hear no bruise. I'm going to change back to the diaphragm of my stethoscope and I'm just going to listen over your liver and spleen. I hear no friction rubs. Move over to your spleen. And again, I hear no friction rubs. So next I'm going to percuss. So I'm going to percuss in actually nine areas of your abdomen here. Good, any pain when I do that? Nope, perfect. And then I'm gonna have you rest your arms right down by your side. Thank you. And we are going to percuss your liver border. So um, I'm gonna go from a sound of resonance too dull. I'm going to kind of mark that right here. I don't have a piece of tape, but I, I know where I'm marking it. Then I'm going to start in your right lower quadrant. Go from timpani to dull. Good. 
and that measures at seven centimeters, which is consistent with a normal, normal size. Next, I'm going to percuss over your spleen. And so that's at Travis point. So that's kind of like anterior axillary here. We're gonna go about the 10th rib. I'm just gonna scooch up. Take a deep breath and hold it. Perfect, I hear a timpani sound. You can breathe normal. That's normal and expected because you have a gas bubble there. Um, gas for air bubble is what it is. I'm gonna go mid-clavicular mid -clavicular line here. And again, I hear timpani in this area where your gastric bubble is. That's where you have gas in the fundus of your stomach. And so if I heard adultness, I would be concerned. But I do not have any concerns right now about that. Last thing we're gonna do for percussion is I'm gonna have you sit up at the edge of the table here, legs this way for me, and I'm gonna assess for CDA tenderness. So I'm gonna expose your back. Try not, I'm gonna try not to get in the way of the camera here. So I, I'm gonna find your costal vertebral angle here. So I'm gonna go on the side of your vertebrae. I'm gonna find your last rib here, and it creates an angle. I'm gonna put my hand here. I'm gonna just tap and you tell me if you have any pain. Any pain? No. No pain? No. Okay. That is a good sign. I'm going to do this on the other side. Find your angle here. I'm going to put my hand here. Any pain? No. No pain? No. Perfect. So I don't have any concerns for pyelonephritis or renal inflammation right now. I'm going to have you lay back down if that's okay. And then I'm going to palpate. So I'm going to expose your stomach a little bit again. Thank you. So I'm gonna start out with light palpation here, okay? So I'm gonna use four fingers. I'm gonna go about one centimeter depth here. First thing I'm gonna do is just assess for any superficial masses or discomfort. Um, I'm really just assessing for tenderness right now, so please let me know if you're having any discomfort. Perfect, I'm gonna go one more up here. Any pain? No. I'm gonna go around your umbilicus and your umbilical ring. I'm just feeling for any muscle issues masses, nothing there. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna move on to deep palpation. I have to push somewhere between five and eight centimeters, so I'm gonna use a little bit more pressure. I'm really gonna be assessing your organ size here and also if you have any masses, okay? So sometimes you have to use two fingers, so I apologize if I'm giving you any discomfort, please let me know. feel any like muscle resistance, masses, or um, enlarged organs when I'm doing that, okay? So we're gonna move on and I am going to try and palpate your liver. Usually it's non-palpable. I kinda have your costal, costal margin here and I'm gonna use like a hook method to see if I can feel it. I don't feel anything. So, and that's a normal consistent finding. I'm gonna also try and palpate your spleen. So the spleen is really hidden up here underneath your rib cage. So what I'm gonna do is use the Nixon method. I'm gonna come up at a 45 degree angle. What I'm gonna do is it, when you take deep breaths, it kind of comes down a little bit underneath that rib cage and costal margin where I should be able to maybe feel it. So I'm gonna start down here. I'm gonna push in as you're taking deep breaths, okay? I'm just gonna kind of move my way up to the area. So take a deep breath. Breathe normal. Another deep breath. Good. Breathe normal. And another. Perfect. And I do not feel feel any um, enlargement or abnormalness when you're doing that. So I do not have any concerns right now about like spleenomegaly or anything. So we're gonna palpate your gallbladder next. It's kind of underneath your right rib, rib cage. So I'm gonna have you take a deep breath and then push in. Any pain with inspiration while I'm pushing? Okay, and that's reassuring. That means that I do not have concerns for cholelithiasis or um, any kind of like cholecystitis. So that's considered a negative Murphy sign. So that's all reassuring too. So next we're gonna palpate your aorta here. So it's about the same area where I listened and where I was looking for palpation, up and to the left. And I'm gonna palpate, it's about two and a half to four centimeters in diameter. I don't feel any pulsations or abnormal variations there. So that's good and reassuring. And then um, last thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to palpate your kidneys. So they're a little bit higher up. I'm gonna use my other hand. Any pain here? No. Good. 
And I'm going to reach over you, hand under. Any pain there? Nope. Perfect. So I don't have any concerns for hypernephrosis here either. So um, that concludes your abdominal assessment. We're going to move on to your vascular assessment, okay? So first thing I'm going to do is we're just going to inspect your peripheral veins and arteries. So I'm, I'm just looking at your legs here. It doesn't look like you have any cyanosis. Your nail beds look like they're intact. You do have a little bit of cool, mm -hmm. <laughs> cool toes, but your cap refill looks like it's appropriate. Less than three seconds. They're not dusty in color. I don't see any non-healing ulcers as I'm looking. I'm just going to palpate with the back of my hand here while I'm down here to feel your temperature. Again, a little bit cool your toes are, but I don't have any concerns for um, vascular compromise right now. I'm going to look at your fingers too. These are a little bit cool too. Again, though you have good cap refill, they're less than three seconds. I don't see any clubbing of your nails. Your nail beds are intact. On your arms, I don't see any obvious lesions or non-healing ulcers. I'm gonna just palpate with the dorsal side of my hand. Your skin temperature is within normal, other than your fingertips being a little bit cold from being outside. Mm -hmm. Um, your hair is evenly distributed when I'm looking at this. The color of your skin, like I said, appears normal. Your muscle tone seems appropriate. I don't have any concerns for atrophy. It's the way that I was watching you just flex and move your foot and um, your fingers are good too. I don't see any obvious swelling of your upper extremities and I don't see any varicosity. So I don't have any concerns for varicose veins either. So what we're going to do next is I'm going to raise your head just a little bit, Courtney. I'm going to have you sit up here. Go ahead and put this back. Um, for the purpose of here, I'm going to have you look my way so we can see on the camera what I'm doing, but I'm going to inspect your jugular vein here and I'm going to get a jugular venous pressure. So I'm really assessing your volume status, okay? So, and this is particularly of uh, the right side of the heart and normally I would assess on this right side but just, I'm gonna do it on the left side, just so for the purposes of a video, they can see what I'm doing. So while you're looking this way, I'm using my light and I'm just looking for pulsation. So can you hold your breath? Perfect, and you can breathe normal. So trying to differentiate between venous pulsation and arterial, your, I know I'm looking at your, your jugular vein um, because it varies with your respiration. That's not a consistent pulse. So I'm just looking at this angle, your sternal angle here, and it's non-palpable. What I'm gonna do is take my measuring tape and I'm gonna measure this just down to your, towards your angle of Louis. And it looks like you're measuring at eight and a half. And that is normal. Anything less than nine is a normal expected finding, okay? So I don't have any concerns right now that you have like a fluid overload or anything, okay? Um, so next I am just gonna palpate for lower extremity edema here. So I'm just gonna press, I do not see any obvious edema to your lower extremities here. I am gonna feel some pulses here. I'm gonna start out with your dorsalis pedis. They are two plus in amplitude, regular rhythm, and symmetrical. Move on, I'm gonna move here. Posterior popliteal. Two plus in amplitude, they're regular rhythm and symmetrical. Posterior tibial. They're two plus in amplitude as well. Regular rate and symmetrical. I'm gonna palpate your femoral pulse here. I'm gonna do this one one at a time. It's just easier for me. It's a good femoral pulse. Two plus amplitude, regular rate. And this is two plus amplitude on your left side as well, regular, and they're symmetrical. I'm gonna feel your radial pulse here. Sorry, I'm just gonna reach like this around your watch a little. Great, these are two plus as well. 
regular rates and symmetrical. Last two are going to be your brachials. Your brachials are two plus amplitude, normal, and I do not have any complaints. They are symmetrical and regular rhythm. So what we're gonna do is just, we're gonna palpate your carotid separately, and then lastly, I just need to listen to them, and then we'll be done with this assessment, okay? I'm gonna take this pillow away from you. Go ahead and put your head back. I'm gonna have you tilt your chin up just a little bit for me. So we palpate these one at a time. This is great. I would almost say this is a three plus, actually regular, rhythmic. Your right side is, I would say, three plus as well, regular, rhythmic. And then lastly, I'm just gonna listen to them. I'm gonna use the bell of my stethoscope. Perfect, I do not hear any bruise. And you're not hearing any breweries on that side either. So that concludes um, our, uh, well, I should just verify. I'm gonna actually have you do that one more time, but I'm gonna have you hold your breath, I apologize. Take a deep breath and hold it. Perfect, you can breathe. Shoot. I almost missed that. One more deep breath. Perfect, you can breathe normal. Okay. I just wanted to check that respiration variation when you, of your carotids when you were holding your breath. But that's all reassuring and normal. So if you have any questions about today's exam, you have a very reassuring exam overall. Um, if you have no other concerns, I just want to thank you for your time. Thank you. All right. Thank you. <laughs>